All right, you took uh, you took some of my thunder uh, away here uh, on in game live yesterday with uh, Megan and Dubs. Uh, mm-hmm. I probably wasn't quite as bullish as you, but I said the same thing. I mean, if you're looking for a team in the NFC, I think there are two teams in the NFC that people aren't talking about enough: uh, Dallas, Oof. Philadelphia, all the teams in the NFC West. I get it, Tampa Bay, yeah, New Orleans. I think it's going to be good as well. But the two teams I think though, that could really snatch a playoff spot. Already talked about one in Carolina. They can figure out the quarterback, and Detroit is the other. There's a surprise team every year. Now, maybe mm-hmm. playoff spot is asking too much, but we do have seven, right? Pretty much the NFL is trying to get everyone to make the playoffs nowadays, so there is that extra team here. And you said the schedule does break down nicely for them. By the way, if you if you want to know how the NFL or the schedule makers feel about Detroit, do you realize every single one of their games, except for one, starts at 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. Eastern? I don't know if I've ever seen that, by the way. Yep. Every yes. they can set their clocks. They know exactly what they're doing. And by the way, the one game that doesn't start at one o'clock Eastern, you want to guess which one that is? That'd be the Thanksgiving mm-hmm. game. It starts at twelve thirty. Of course. All right. So yeah. every game is the early slot for them. Uh, which I like I said, wicked. They have no prime time games, no four o'clock games. You see, they don't have to travel out west at all here. All right, I think that's great for them. You mentioned it. The schedule is easy. They play, of course, they play Chicago twice, and I'm with you. They're going to be terrible. We'll talk about them next. All right, they play Jacksonville. They play the Giants and Jets. I mean, so you know, I'm not saying both teams are going to be terrible, mind you, but they don't play the greatest of teams. 